Okay, we're going to roll right into our post race for today's 34th annual, <clears throat> excuse me, High Sense 300 NASCAR Xfinity Series race here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Our race runner up, Denny Hamlin, he drives a number 54 Monster Energy Toyota. Denny, talk about your run out there today. You had some uh, laps that you led. Certainly were a contender, as you mentioned on television a minute ago. Probably had a pretty good finish, though, considering all things. Yeah, we did. Uh, you know, we were, um, I, I thought it was pretty much a battle for second uh, all day and who was going to finish second uh, to the 33. But uh, he had an exceptionally strong car. Really, all the RCR cars, those guys are, have really done their homework and, and uh, you know, given those guys some fast cars to drive. And, uh, you know, it's uh, right now it's kind of them and then everyone else as, as far as speed's concerned. But we've uh, we got to get our organization better, and, and I feel like uh, we, we did a good job getting a great finish um, considering, you know, what, what I thought we had for a race car today. Uh, you know, I thought we, we could hang around the top five to ten uh, most of the day, but uh, Chris did a good job um, uh, getting my car better and then at least gave me the pit crew gave me a shot uh, to on a restart uh, there at the end. So, um, overall, you know, pretty good day uh, considering uh, everything we had. Let's go to the press box. Questions for Denny Hamlin. I have, I have a, uh, sorry, Lee Spencer with Motorsport.com. I have a question about a happy hour and just how you felt your car was in the cup race and if the Toyotas will be able to, you know, stack up against the uh, Stuart Haas Racing Chevys tomorrow. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we were we were pretty good. We weren't uh, great, but uh, we have something to work on, work with, and, and obviously we're starting with some track position, uh, so that will help. So, um, you know, once again, you know, today was similar to uh, what the All Star race is. Track position was just so key, um, and uh, really, it's it's uh, you, you got to do everything you can to just stay up front. So that's going to be the goal tomorrow. Um, you know, we experimented with some stuff uh, in happy hour. Uh, some things didn't work, and uh, you know, so we'll just kind of look uh, at our notes. I thought our teammates uh, were pretty good. Any other questions in the press box? Anyone else? Let's come back downstairs. Pete Acabelli right here from the Associated Press. Pete Acabelli, Associated Press. Um, Danny, do you think that with the All-Star race, a strong run today, You've got. Uh, do you feel like you've got a lot of confidence going into tomorrow? Do you feel pretty pumped about your chances? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's. I don't feel like there's anything I can do to to drive harder or, or better. Um, sure, I can do some things better here and there, but um, it's just you got to hope you got a fast car. And mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously, we we had a fast car last week. We had track position and, and won the race. Um, this one, we got some track position late, and uh, we made our car better. And uh, you know, got a second place finish. So I feel like you know, there's some things uh, about my car I wish I could change. But you know, that's the tough part of this of NASCAR racing is that you got to tune it and, and get the car handling as good as it can. And, and what's going to be key is you know, going from daytime to night tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a, a very, very big challenge to uh, make your car good at both. So um, as far as confidence is concerned, uh, I, I'm as confident as, as ever. I uh, think that we could. Uh, our organization starting to turn the corner just a little bit. Hopefully, we get some good results this weekend, and then uh, from here on out, um, as we work on our program. And um, you know, obviously, last week was a great week, and and obviously, Matt getting the poll on on Thursday was a good sign as well. So, uh, pretty excited about uh, tomorrow's race. Final question for Denny, all the way in the back, my man Kyle. Kyle Magda, Race Chairs Online. Denny to your right here. Uh, just talk about that final restart there with Austin. I know um, it was hard holding him off there, and then when he you finally just you, you tried to maneuver around that lap car and Austin got around you. Know, just talk a little bit about that and um, also the speed of, of the car today as well. Yeah, I mean, I thought our only shot to hold off, well, the I, I thought that when the 33 gave us the outside, that was a, a big advantage for us uh, if we could stay with him uh, through turns one and two. Uh, we were. <coughs> And um, it allowed us to, to get position on him and even get him shuffled a few spots. Uh, that was all good, but his car was just so fast, he just overcame uh, that track position that I talked about. And uh, I needed to stay on the bottom. Uh, my car was best on the bottom. Um, his car was pinned to the bottom as well. Um, so I needed 
all the lap cars to move up high, and, and all of them did except for the the 97. Uh, he gave us the, uh, the 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 high line, and um, that just that killed us and, and killed our chances from that point. Once the 33 got to our inside, so um, that's racing. That's part of it. You got to maneuver through it, and um, you know we just didn't do uh, that good of a job. Danny, thank you very much, and certainly good luck here tomorrow night. Thank you. Thank you.